guys welcome back to my channel so today's video has been so so requested since I shared with you guys that I am no longer on Accutane I finished my entire six rounds and it's actually almost four months now that I'm completely done with Accutane and I have to say that my skin went from being really really super like OD dry well being on that medication now it's kind of more combination I'm not gonna say that it's either dry or oily or even normal because who is to really say what normal skin is, but I am gonna say that the perimeters of my skin are still really, really dry and so much to the point where it's kind of like itchy. So that's kind of like how it was on the Accutane. And then my T-zone is back to being really, really oily. So go figure best of both worlds. So today's video is gonna be an updated skincare routine. I'm gonna let you guys know what I do every single night. I actually demonstrated everything last night while I was doing my skincare routine. And I know a lot of you guys are asking for a post Accutane update, like a skin update, since I updated you guys every single six months that I was on the medication. I have it in the works, you guys. I do have a lot to say, but I'm not gonna lie. I am so afraid to kind of jinx it. I'm gonna let you guys know that it has been going really good. I've had maybe, I'm gonna say about three breakouts since Accutane, but for the most part, and you guys will see my skin with no makeup on it today, but for the most part, it's been going really smoothly and I'm really afraid to just kind of have an update for you guys and then everything come back. Like, I'm not a superstitious person, but I just don't wanna jinx it, but I'm thinking maybe one or two months let me just track the progress of my skin a little bit longer and then I will have a post Accutane update for you guys. A skincare routine is something that is really, really important to me because you guys know that I'm more, I'm not gonna say a cheap person, but I like to think of myself more as like a frugal person. If I can find a dupe for something, most of the times I'm gonna go with a drugstore product over a high-end product. But when it comes to skincare, that is the one like area of beauty that I won't mind spending a lot of money and even ridiculous amounts of money just because I feel like your skin is so important. It's like, it's your base, it's your canvas. I feel like no matter how on point, on fleek your makeup is, if you have bad skin or I should, I should really be speaking for myself. If I have bad skin or if I'm having a bad skin day, I just, I don't have that confidence no matter what makeup I have on my face. So skincare is something that's extremely important to me. But with that being said, I kind of have a mixture of products. Some of it is more high end and a lot of it is more affordable. Last thing before I jump into my skincare routine, I want to say that I've actually, now that I've gone through the process of having really, really super dry skin after having really oily skin, um, I feel like I actually appreciate that the oiliness is coming back to my skin because it really does help to preserve your skin. You're not gonna have as much wrinkles and fine lines when you're older. And I actually think that a dewy skin tone or dewy complexion, I've learned to appreciate it. I feel like it looks very youthful, it looks healthy. And since on Accutane, I was so, so dry. I thought that I was gonna love it, but to be honest with you guys, I actually love the fact that the oil, or a little bit of the oil, is coming back into my T-zone. I, I, I'm not mad at it. I gotta say, I'm not mad at it. All right, I'm rambling way too much. Let's jump into this routine. Now, even though yesterday I was not wearing makeup, so when I'm filming this part, you guys don't see any eye makeup on, um, most days I am wearing makeup, but at the same time, I'm a very like simplistic person. I don't like using a ton of product on my face, whether it's makeup or skincare, because I feel like the more products, the more irritation, the more complicated. So I actually do not use facial wipes at all anymore to remove my makeup. I have a big stockpile of facial wipes, but I actually just use them now to like remove swatches from my hands and clean up around my house. Yes, I use makeup wipes on my furniture. I have a lot. So the first step in my skincare routine is removing my eye makeup. And a lot of times it's dark eye makeup, it's waterproof eye makeup. A lot of you guys ask me how I go ahead and remove waterproof mascara. And the way that I remove absolutely everything from my eyes is by using pure coconut oil. So it kind of comes in a solid form and then when you scoop it out and put a little bit on your fingers, it warms up and it turns into an oil. So all that I do is I kind of just mash it up in my fingers until it's completely turned into an oil. Then I rub that onto my eyes and I basically basically massage it in for a good 10 to 15 seconds and then I either go ahead and wash it off in the sink or you could even take a washcloth and it basically just wipes your makeup right off. I only use coconut oil on my eyes because I actually found out from you guys that it has a very high potential to clog the skin on the rest of your face so if you have really really sensitive skin make sure that you're not slathering it all over your face. That is something that I used to use or that I used to do back in the day but now I use it solely on my eyes to remove any makeup that I have on. All right, 
so after that I move on to cleansing my face and this is the cleanser that I have been loving lately this is by clarity MD and it's called their deep pore cleanser this cleaner gives me a really really deep cleaning but don't worry since it's bio-nutrient based and it contains aloe vera juice and chamomile and glycerin instead of drying out my skin and stripping it it actually moisturizes it so i absolutely love it for that i do have to say that i am very picky with anything and everything that i put on my face because my skin is very very sensitive now this stuff does not dry me out it does not clog my pores it doesn't break me out and since i have really really sensitive skin a lot of things that i apply onto my face burn I don't have that problem with this stuff at all. I love it, it's definitely my ride or die. All right, so at that point, I have all of my makeup off. My face is completely clean. I go ahead and dry it off. And I like to start off by treating my under eye area. Now, some of you guys may know because I complain about this kind of a lot on my channel. I have really dark under eye circles, but not only that, I have really like wrinkly, crepey, very dry skin underneath my eyes. So I love slathering them in my chamomile eye treatment from Made by Earth. It's organic, it's holistic, and it says right on the bottle that it's for tired, wrinkled, and stressed eyes. Check, check, and check. <laughs> it's filled with chamomile and with vitamin C, so that definitely takes care of moisturizing my under eyes. But, like I said, I also have a little bit of a problem, especially after finishing Accutane with the darkness underneath my eyes because it is a side effect of the medicine that it makes your dark circles even worse. So what I actually use for that is a prescription cream and this is called Hydroquinone and mine is in the 4% strength. Basically all this is is a skin bleaching cream. So you can use it on different areas of your face if you have dark spots. I don't have any dark spots, I just have that darkness underneath my eyes. So basically I just take a little tiny dot, you need the tiniest amount of this stuff and I just put this right on top of my under eye moisturizer. I know this sounds like a lot of steps but I kind of do everything very quickly. I'm just very used to doing this and this is what I do every single night. I literally cannot go to sleep if I don't do every single step that I'm letting you guys know. So for the rest of the skin on my face I actually use another prescription cream and this is called Retin-A. Now mine is a very very low dose prescription retin-a cream and what this does is that it treats hyperpigmentation uneven skin tone and it kind of treats the marks that are left behind from previous acne this doesn't really do much for any active blemishes that I might have on my face so what I like to do is then go in right after and spot treat with my clarity MD clarifying serum what this does is it treats blemishes red spots blackheads whiteheads so what I do is I apply this to whatever parts of my skin are kind of acting up at the moment and to be honest it usually just happens really during that time of the month so if I'm having a good skin day I will just skip out on this step and my very last step you guys know that I cannot go to sleep without treating my lips I feel like it's very very important so this is a product that I wish that I discovered while I was on Accutane because it's literally more amazing than anything else I really do love the Dr. Dan's Cordobon but since that has cortisone in it it's not something that you can use for an extended period of time if you're on Accutane, definitely check that out though. But what I am using now is this balm by IT Cosmetics. It's called their Vitality Lip Flush. Basically what it is, is an anti-aging conditioning balm that moisturizes your lips so, so, so freaking much, I'm telling you guys. It also changes colors from clear and it kind of leaves a pinkish stain on your lips. It literally is the coolest product ever and I'm not gonna lie, I love the fact that I apply it on at night and when I wake up in the morning, I have a nice little pink tint to my lips. I don't know, it's the little things. And fast forward all the way to the morning, I will tell you guys really quickly what I do because it's basically only two steps because I am very lazy in the morning. So I do use the same exact face wash that I showed you guys from Clarity MD. I just like the really deep clean that it gives me and my dermatologist actually told me that it's a myth that you should not wash your face in the morning. He said there's a lot of buildup and oil and sebum and bacteria on your face from overnight and that you should wash your face in the morning and at nighttime. So yeah. After that, I go in with my most absolute favorite moisturizer at the moment and this is by First Aid Beauty. It's called their Ultra Repair Cream. This moisturizer is formulated with oatmeal and it's specifically formulated for irritated skin such as people that have eczema, rosacea, or just really, really sensitive skin. I love using this stuff as my daily moisturizer because it also works great underneath my makeup. It's kind of like a primer and a moisturizer in one, and I feel like it just, it really soothes my face. It actually even says on the back that in addition to eczema and psoriasis and those different skin conditions, you can actually use it over rashes, poison ivy, 
Oak and Sun Mac. I don't know what that is. And Insect Bites. It's just a very, very soothing moisturizer. And this is actually the little travel size. I'm definitely going to go back and get the full size ASAP. And that is my updated skincare routine. Like I said, I do this every single night on the dot. You're not going to sleep unless you do this. I'm crazy. I'm I'm a little bit skin obsessed. I'm not afraid to say so. If you guys want to see a post Accutane update, definitely let me know. And if you guys didn't know about my whole little Accutane journey, I will post that down below because I did post an update every single month showing you guys the progress of my skin. And it has been absolutely amazing. I can't believe that it's almost four months since I've been off the medication and I'm so scared that my skin is going to like break out one day like overnight it's like oh my god it's my worst fear but so far so good thank you guys all so much for watching i love you all so 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 much and i'll see you in my next video bye